The problem with cars is they crash, and if the crash is severe enough, people can die. A number of organizations are working to make the cars we drive safer. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasha takes us behind the scenes at the Institute for Highway Safety. That crash, it took just an instant, but staging it took days of preparation. Preparation that's as complicated and sophisticated as a rocket launch. It should be centered in the seat. Right there. We'll never stop crashes completely, but new technology in vehicles is making them safer. Safer than even 10 years ago, when crashes like this would have resulted in serious injuries or even death. So this vehicle is equipped with radar and camera system so that it can identify, warn, and prevent the collision. Engineer Steve Griffith putting the auto braking system through its paces on the test track belonging to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. These sensors can identify potential obstacles in front of us. And if something is identified, it'll warn. There's the warning. And there's the braking. And that was at 15 miles an hour. And that was at 15 miles an hour. To make sure they're accurate, Tests like this need to be duplicated from car to car. To keep their active safety tests as controlled as possible, they built this giant dome. That allows them to repeat the tests over and over again, no matter what the outside conditions are. Nestled on a secluded piece of land in Rockersville, Virginia, the Institute has 10 acres of outside test tracks, five more acres of test tracks covered by a dome, as well as labs filled with state-of-the-art testing gear. We buy all of our vehicles at local dealerships. We want to make sure that we're getting the exact same thing that any customer would get before we test it. The crash tests require precise data. It's designed to be loaded from the front so all these ribs can deform backwards. And the crash test dummies are specifically designed for different types of crashes that you could experience which might kill or seriously injure you. Uh, one, two, one. Wanna do it again? Yeah. Positioning of the dummies is critical. Even to the point of covering their faces with various makeups. We paint the dummies because we need to see uh, where the airbag will impact the, uh, the dummy or the door or both. obtained by the dummies is used by automakers to make vehicles safer. And the process has dramatically reduced the number of deaths and traffic accidents and made all cars safer. What do you think in your estimation is the best improvement the Institute has been able to, to force automakers to do? Well in this particular test, the side impact test, we've, we've forced them to do two things. One is to beef up the, the B pillar and the sills and to a certain extent the what we call the roof rails. The safety sell now? Safety definitely sells now. You can't hope to have a vehicle that you bring to the US market that's unsafe. And as cars get more sophisticated, so do the crash tests. Crash tests on vehicles like this helped improve the technology for safety. And as we move closer and closer towards self-driving automobiles, the tests that are conducted here will help make sure that that technology is safe and reliable. For the CBS 17 Investigators, I'm Steve Sprasher.